Welcome, this is Paula Chafee Scardamelli of DivinningTheMuse.com with your Monday Tarot message from the Muse for the week of May 8th. Okay, your theme for the week is the King of Wands. Wands is the element of fire in the realm of spirit, creativity, career, and work. Um, you can see the king here. He's the one who's the master of the element. He's standing at what looks to, appears to be an altar, these great horns, the fire burning at the center of it, and the dragons on the, pa on the panels of either side of him. So your, thing, your theme for this week is to look for those occasions where you need to be the uh, king of uh, wands. You need to be the master or the mistress of the element. And that means being able to command resources to see the big picture. This is almost like a television, large television screen here or something. So really being able to see the big picture. What is the spirit? What is the, the deeper purpose behind your work? And how do you um, direct the resources and take care of that flame, that fire of creativity? Your focus for the week is the Eight of Swords, a fun card. Swords is the element of air in the realm of uh, mind, th thoughts, attitudes, beliefs, and communication. Um, here we have the sign of Gemini on the back of the spider, and then up here is Jupiter, the big benefic. And I think we had this card just recently. So as your focus card for this week, um, your question, the thing to focus on is to ask yourself, how are you hanging yourself up? with false beliefs or limiting beliefs that if you remove the blindfold if you moved one hand because this hand isn't as bound as the other one is if you use this hand to remove the blindfold how easily you could use these one of these limiting beliefs to cut yourself free um, Jupiter as the big benefic makes anything bigger it can make the good things bigger but can also make the negative things bigger so focus on how your beliefs, your limiting beliefs, might be uh, bigger than they need to be and keeping you from moving forward. Your action this week, once you get rid of those limiting beliefs, is the major arcana card strength. And when we talk about strength here, we're not talking about muscular strength. We're talking about inner strength, inner fortitude. Notice these big cats sitting here with her. Um, she doesn't need chains or leashes or chairs or whips or anything else. All she does is touch them, and she sh shares her own inner light, her own inner belief, her own inner confidence. And they are companions to her rather than challenges. So your action this week is to act from that place of inner strength, inner fortitude, inner courage. And then finally, the gift, another swords. Um, so again, swords, element of mind, uh, element of air in the realm of mind, thoughts, attitudes, belief, and communication. Here's a full moon. We're moving towards a full moon shortly. We have the sign of Libra and the sword in either hand. You can see the scarf across the eyes. Um, the gift this week is the ability to trust your intuition over that rational mind that wants to weigh the pros and cons. Libra is also about, the sign is about relationships. So look for that gift of relationship to your work and relationship to your intuition that allows you to move forward with more ease. So as we look at the story for the week, this week, be the king of wands. Really look at the big picture when it comes to tending to the altar, the spirit, and the purpose of your creative work. Um, the king has a lot of power, a lot of that fire energy, master of the fire. So be the master of your creative fires this week. See the big picture and mastery of the resources for it. Then because you can see the big picture and be the master, you notice you've got one hand free to cut yourself loose, to remove the blindfold and cut yourself free of limiting beliefs that keep you from being the person that you can be and your work from being the work it can be. Then from that place of freedom, that mental freedom, you can have the inner fortitude, the inner strength to really companion your fears and challenges rather than muscle through them. And then finally, look for the gift of intuition this week, being able to trust that intuition, be in relationship with it in regard to your creative work. And this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DividingTheMuse.com, wishing you divine musings.